Bill's Corner. So today we're going to be talking about something that's been going on in the Philippines, something called red tagging, right? For those of you that don't know what red tagging is, it is basically you're associated with a communist person. So you're trying to make uh, a claim against somebody that they have communistic ties, right? And it's like a bad word in the Philippines. So efforts linking her and supporters to communists only make presidential campaigns stronger. So this is Lenny, and she's the vice president of the country currently, and she's running for president. So what she's trying to say is calling her red tagging, red tagging her would only make her campaign stronger. So Roberto made the remarks to the National Task Force to end a local armed conflict released a statement. And that's where this whole problem started. I don't agree with this because the Communist Party, especially in the Sulu Islands, has been just wreaking havoc, man. They've been killing, they've been doing the kidnappings, every vile thing you could think of. You can't make peace with these people. And though I understand what she's trying to do, she's very soft-hearted, she's very soft-spoken. I think it was very ill-thought-out when she did all this, right? So uh, she made some good points later on. So red tagging is baseless, and I thank Senator Sony for saying that it is not true. All the people, he won't allow us to be infiltrated by the communists. We are not coalescing with the CPP or the MPA. And that's the vile groups down there in the South. That is why we need to call out the fake news. And they are quite correct on that. So if you stay silent on fake news, it will fester. But the people are also belaying these claims. Professional organizations, teachers, UN workers, economists, universities won't be endorsing my bid if they believe this claim to be true, basically. And she's right. Some of the smartest people in the Philippines have been endorsing her. In case you're wondering who I would be for, I'm for Mayor Isco. I don't hate Lenny. I have nothing strong against her. Like I said, I think she means well. But I like Isco because I think he's strong on China. So I don't want anybody out there trying to think I'm making a pro-Lenny thing because it's just not true right now. I'm just correcting the red tagging that's been going on. We're going to get into the issue. Who's spreading these rumors, right? So the government anti-insurgency task force got one. They slammed presidential candidate Vice President Lenny for alleged association with the communist, the communist Party, right? In a statement, the National Task Force to end local communist conflict cited to suppose endorsement. So basically, they just went full-blown. So she said we should make peace, and all of a sudden they said, oh, you want to make peace? You must be for them then, right? And it just wasn't true. And that's where the problem started. In case you're wondering who's spreading these rumors, well, it's our good friend Roberto Tiglo, unfortunately. Oh, man. So we're going to get into this, right? So he calls it the Unholy Alliance. And in case you didn't notice, look at this. Right up here, Debaco, another book by Robert Tiglo. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, why he put that first, right? So... The Communist Party in the Philippines supporting has mobilized its forces to support the presidential bid of Vice President Lenny. According to my sources, who well, he never really sourced. He never sourced anybody, right? It's just my sources, my, you know, the people that I've encircled of, they've all said this, so it must be true. They confirm that Loxon's disclosure last week that the Communist Legal Front have infiltrated Roberto's campaign. And by the way, they have a thing in the Philippines called a uh, civil libel. So if you're spreading false information online, you can be held legally accountable, right? And I think Lenny's camp really needs to press charges against Robert Tiglo. Because if you're going to have sources, you need to name those sources, unfortunately. Because if not, you don't have any sources. That's the problem. So his claim that his intelligence sources reported that communists asked their mass base to join the recent rallies. So basically, he's saying that the communists want to rally behind Lenny. That doesn't mean she's for them. That just means that's the rallying. And I don't even know if that's true. So he can't disassociate the difference. So even back in, uh, they had that problem with the Republican Party, and it might even been true, where the white nationalists or the, uh, the most racist, vile people on earth were supposedly backing Trump. Even though Trump didn't fully endorse them, they were endorsing him. See the fine difference there? And what's going on here, I think, is the same thing. Just because somebody might be for you, it don't mean you're endorsing the person that's for you. Does that make any sense? So, they're swollen the ranks. A top government official of Cave Light told me, Our leaders report that many of those that joined the 
or these rallies were from CPP networks. I think that her and her people came around here. They seemed very kind. I didn't talk to them. I just saw them high and handing out flower uh, flyers. It didn't seem anything communistic about these people. So to have a source from Kvite to even talk about the source from Sulu, it's two different regions. Kvite is here in Manila. Sulu is way down there where most of the communists are. And for them to be massing in Manila, they would have to travel, right? And if you travel, you're going to need some kind of documents to go from one island to the other. So that would mean that this police force that we have and the NBI totally missed a mass communistic party from Sulu Island, somehow made it all the way up to Manila, according to Robert Tiglow, his own words, just to support Lenny. So either the Philippine police and the NBI have totally debunked, as according to his title of his book, a fiasco and totally missed all the communists coming from Sulu to here, or Roberto Tiglo is full of crap. So rather stupidly, a statement by the CC, CPP chief informant officer posted an insurgency website, cpp.philippines, which is tended to deny the allegations. So they're denying it. So he's saying his source is saying it's true, but they're denying it on their own website. So Roberto Tiglo has already contradicted himself. He's already contradicted himself based off evidence of a website that the CPP post themselves, but he's saying his one source from KVI, who he can't name, is saying something different. So he's already walking contradiction. The CCP statement, however, clarified that neither the CCP nor the NDF, National Democratic Front, forged any agreement with Robert's, Roberto's camp. My sources claim that the statement is accurate. His sources that he can't name. He can't name any sources. This is why I think Lenny needs to file a lawsuit against Robert Tiglow. The sources claim Robert's camp is trying to secure such funding from the anti dirty New York Filipino American well as from entities known as to be financing anti dirty news. Oh, now we're going to get into it. The anti dirty news. You see, Robert Tiglow did a lot of anti dirty -dirt news and he's done some pro. He's been really flip floppy on that. And it's always according to what book he's writing. So we're going to get into that in a second here, like I said, right? So the CCP is also demanding that Roberto Camp issue a formal statement that it commits to opening peace talks with the communists. She is not going to do that. The CCP actually had made an earlier statement that is only a bit short of calling Roberto the idea president for the country, right? The forte. However, I don't think the communist support for Roberto will boost her votes. The two parties list most identify the communist, the faction. So he gets on all this, right? So he, I don't think Roberto on Holy Alliance will make a dent in Marco Jr.'s formal lead 56 days election. A new, by the way, if anybody's red, uh, deserves red tagging, it's the one person that keeps calling China a friend. And that's Marcos Jr. I, bing bong ding dong. That's what I keep calling him. He is literally the dirt day junior, uh, unfortunately. So, not only a few communist activities won't de rally new roles have been given to campaigns for Roberto from the Reds, we were told. I dare Roberto to deny any column allegations by simply issuing a statement along the following lines. The Communist Party, don't come in. Sorry, that's my wife. I told her not to come in the room, and she did anyway. Sorry about that. The Communist Party and the New People's Army for more than 50 years have been trying to topple through the violent of our democratic system killing over 50,000 our men in uniform and helpless civilians. So he's already saying that the new people's army has already been killing everybody, right? And that's where this whole problem started when she's saying we should make peace with them. Now all of a sudden they're saying, well, she must have ties, which wasn't true. So his sources that he doesn't even want to talk about can't even confirm anything. She's blatantly rejecting this, saying that if it... This, is, this talk is only going to help her out, right? That's what she's saying. So we're going to get into his book, The Debacle, right? The, he's talking about the former uh, Scarborough fiasco in South China Sea arbitration. He's wrote a lot of uh, articles and news books about this. He's also done a lot of, um, uh, you know, for Manila Times, the columnist. And he sells books according to the chaos that he helps create. That's what he does. He gets the left to, to fight with the right, and he writes 
why it's a problem. But he's part of the problem. That's what Roberto Tigolo does. He writes books according to the chaos that he helps create. He doesn't even stand one fine line to the other. And believe me, if Lenny herself was any form of a communistic ties, he would write an article why she should be the greatest president in the Philippines ever. Because he is completely communistic in his alliances, in his books that he writes, why China is better than America, why the South China Sea should be given to China. So if Roberto Tiglo is saying that Lenny is a communist, he's lying to begin with. He already contradicted himself in the first few paragraphs that he wrote. He didn't even catch that, by the way. He doesn't have any proof. He's just saying he has a source, a source that he won't even disclose. So we're going to get into what the actual people said, right? A spokesman at National Task Force to end local communist armed conflict on Monday, March 14th, accused presidential candidate and vice president Lenny Roberto of conveying with the Communist Party of the Philippines to disrupt the upcoming May election. But this was disproved by the CC, the CPP itself. You see, Robert Tiglow writes articles like this because he writes books about this chaos that he helps create. And this is part of the Republican playbook that we have in America that goes on. Or if you tell a lie big enough and it keeps circulating, it keeps circulating, and you come around and you can source that lie that you started, but because it did a full circle, you can source it. And that's what he just did. That's what he helped create. Do I think Lenny has any communistic parties to the ties? No. I just think she made the fatal mistake of saying that we should make peace talks with them because she doesn't like death. I think she's very soft-hearted. I think she has a good heart. I think she means well. But she doesn't have any communistic ties. The one person who might have is the one person who keeps praising China. But like I said, I think her camp needs to file charges against Robert Tiglow. That's what that needs to happen. Anyway, thank you for watching Joe's Corner. Hope everybody learned something. And you got to be careful what you say sometimes and what you accuse people of based off evidence. That's why I take Robert D Tiglow's own words. I take his own words. And I disprove it by basing evidence, right? That you have to sometimes common sense things, and he doesn't do that. So in the Philippines, in this next election, everybody needs to sit down, and they need to really, really think. And you do need to dissociate yourself from misinformation. But you also got to remember that some people make a living off misinformation by debacling what's going on politically. So you got to be careful, and you got to ask yourself, why is this source writing this? Is he making money from this? Who's backing this? And what is his purpose? Or what her purpose is, even for that matter. So your sources in the Philippines ain't always sources. you got to be careful. Anyway, thank you for watching Joe's Corner. Enjoy. Take care of each other.